won't need to have a very high spec to play this game. Um, the Sims 3 and all the Sims games really have um, the broadest audience of just about any game in the world. So it's really important for us to design a game so that it runs on a lot of different kinds of computers, um, computers that are many years old. You know, The Sims has one of the simplest interfaces of any computer game that you can imagine because all you really do as a player is you just move your mouse over something and you click on it. And we haven't changed that. Um, that at all. So um, what we've really done actually is we've condensed some of the interactions so that when you click on something and you look at the menu of possibilities, uh, there's fewer for any given thing that you click on. And, um, and they're, they're really, uh, especially in terms of socializing, it's more about emotion and less about uh, choosing specific features. When you play The Sims 3, um, you know, as a uh, as we've talked about, uh, everybody in the town will develop like real people, and uh, that's really part of the the appeal of the game. Um, so that uh, the town that you play in is unlike the town that anybody else plays in because it grows and develops. You have uh, complete control over the family that you play in the game, and then all of the other characters really are part of the setting. And then we, as game designers, help uh, craft that setting for you. We, you know, we. Um, We've got artificial intelligence that drives all of the other characters forward so that uh, you never have these breaks in continuity where, um, and so that all of the uh, stories you're trying to tell are possible. So uh, in The Sims 3, um, you're going to discover all kinds of features that you've never seen before in previous games. You'll see some features that existed in previous games, uh, and then um, others uh, just don't really fit into the setting that we've created. So um, for example, you know, The Sims uh, can ride around the town on bicycles, which is something that fans have never seen before. Uh, but you can also give them cars. Uh, off the bat, which is something that you have seen before in games. So really what we've done is um, every feature that we've put into the game uh, is part of an attempt to make the place that you live and the stories that you can create as complete as possible uh, so that you uh, have a completely believable fiction and that you're entirely in control as a player. So um, uh, so that's really the, reason, uh, the reasoning behind uh, the things you'll find in the game. And um, you'll really find a blend of uh, kind of the best of uh, the previous Sims games. Uh, you know, in fact, I think that um, because of some of the new uh, features we've added to The Sims 3, that there's actually um, almost like a deeper, richer kind of a humor that's possible. So uh, because you can create the personalities of your characters with so much detail, now it's possible for you to create a situation like a writer would in a book or uh, in a TV uh, play or in a screenplay. And you can put those characters into the world and incredibly funny things will happen between them. So um, the, the very slapstick humor, the very obvious humor is still there, but there's actually a much deeper and uh, richer humor that's in your control now. <laughs>